Hey guys, how you doing? How's your day been? Done anything exciting? Good question around about these times. So they're starting to... Whoops, sorry guys, bump the camera. Too many drills on that. Starting to lift the restrictions here. Um, yeah, still not lifting them enough for my liking, but doing the righty. The only reason why I say that is I want to get down to Esperance. <laughs> it's, um, what is it? 15th of May. So, uh, my first grandchild, <laughs> my son's first child is due on the 3rd of June. And they are in a zone where I'm not allowed to travel to. <laughs> So it's only just selfish reasons purely. Um, so yeah, so starting to get a lift of restriction, but they're looking probably won't be for another three weeks before they lift the restrictions on that region before I can go down. So hopefully she can keep the bub in the bub in her belly for a bit longer. <laughs> no, I'd never wish that on a pregnant woman. Oh no. Mm. Um. Yeah. Hi, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and um, welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't, I have been doing a lot of oversharing lately, uh, but that's, at this stage, it's more because people are in self-isolation, and having a little bit of chat with somebody that's, um, you know, just a little short little chat, which is what I've been doing, is just trying to do short little chats, go for a walk I'll take the camera out with me um, so you can see a little bit around where I am um, you see a bit of bow and um, just to give you something else to look at listen to comment on um, if you're watching this for the first time I do crafts I am mainly diamond painting uh, but I also do resin and that's UV resin and two-part epoxy resin. So um, I do have, what do I do? I get subscription box from Sophie and Toffee, so the Elves box. Um, I get one a month, or I pay for one a month. I don't get one a month at the moment. Um, so hopefully they'll start popping up. I'm so hanging for them to come. Uh, what else? Yeah, and diamond paint. A few other little things that I do as well, but um, I've shown them on the channel, and but not gone any further with them other than just showing. Uh, it. Yeah. What are you working on today? Have you come across this channel by accident, or are you um, a regular viewer? I, uh, what I, oh, hang on, that's what I didn't do. I didn't zoom in. So I'm just going to go through the comments that came through in the last 24 hours, um, which, nice, oh, quite a little amount. So <laughs> from Mindy, she um, commenting on number 18. So this is Whip and Chat 20. She's commenting on Whip and Chat 18. So 18, I actually uh, walked out of the office where I work. Um, so you saw like the plaza level. You didn't actually see inside where I work, but you saw the plaza level uh, of where I work. And then a little bit of a walk through the city. And that, that city being Perth, uh, which is the capital city of Western Australia. But I'm uh, not sure if you heard that that was Nathan's cough he was in the kitchen and he's back in the kitchen again you might hear him I'm not going to stop this time um, yeah so there's a bit of footage of just working, walking around the city to show you what it's like around my world um so yeah, so there, Mindy, that was that was Perth. That's Perth on a Saturday morning. 
I bet you heard that one. Okay, um, I'm going to have to put an on-air button or a light out there to say this is when I'm recording because he's like, oh, are you on the phone? It's like, I want to record. <laughs> I shut the door to this room when I'm recording, not when I'm on the phone, just when I'm recording. And he still hasn't figured that out. So maybe I'm going to have to make a big sign. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think I was saying to Mindy, it's it, yeah, it's Perth on a Saturday and it's lovely and quiet. Um, and yeah, it, it is a very clean city, very clean. Um, it's it gets it often gets commented on how quiet and sleepy it is for a city. Uh, yeah. Not that much happens here. <laughs> uh, okay. And even less now. Uh, Ginger, I've been watching your videos on your snack crate boxes. It's a great way you are you're able to try everything. You can really tell which one you don't like. Very picky about what you eat, so something wouldn't do something you wouldn't do, but you did a great job, thank you. <laughs> Okay, um, what's going on there? And then uh, Anna, another great video, it's pretty where you work. Do you like those little videos where I put in instead of me yapping and chatting? And the reason for, for this is for you guys to, the reason why I've started up doing the chats the short chats is to show you something different get you out of your temporarily out of your homes to see another part of the world and got to face it this part of the world is pretty I might have to go and um, take some photos elsewhere leave the house tomorrow for Nathan yeah there we go there's something that's happening Nathan's going camping uh he did initially say to me just the boys i went yeah no well no he didn't he he said he turned around and said oh we'll go camping this weekend he told me a couple of weeks ago and i went yeah okay i uh, probably won't come um yeah so it's been on the cars planning it you know it's only an like an overnight camp i thought i got the wrong color um so I thought, oh yeah, it would just probably be the boys, but no, his his mate's wife and one of my friends, they they're going to go with the daughter. So it's going to be it will be a nice time to go. Basically, they're going to sit at the campsite. Hang on, looking for more eyes. So, so they're going to set up the campsite and just sit around, and um, they're going to do lamb shanks in the um, cooker so in the cast iron pot the slow cooking pot so they'll put that on an open fire and just roast for most of the day stew it away for a couple of that for a few quite a few hours and they plan to just actually just sit around the camp just to get out and enjoy being out of the house <laughs> which uh, some people are going, getting sick of being housebound. We're just getting li restrictions lifted now. So, yeah, so they're, they're off. Um, and I've just turned around and said, no, I'm not, not this time. I'm going to be happy to go, but just... I think because Nathan's been home so much... <laughs> I just want him to go out for one night and I have one night at home alone. <laughs> ah, that's that's the hope of it all. That's the big hope of it all. Um, yeah. He's uh, he's he he's bet he's too cooped up. He does need to do stuff and uh, and he does need to get out. He's not a person to sit around the house. 
right. um, sat with oh, I sat with Bo on the couch today and I cha shared some cashew nuts with him I, only a couple I'll give you the warning I do have um, um, what I do have like sheets down on the couch and pillows I've got a big pile of cushion pillow thingies that he he is allowed on uh, that gets washed regularly so you will see him drooling and yes it is on it's on it's it's not like it's straight on the couch I've got stuff to lay down so because he is a drooler so I'll pop that in um, in here and I'll let you enjoy watching me torment him with a couple of cashews and what is like when Nathan goes out and then what is like when Nathan when he hears Nathan coming home don't need to do anything different he just lets I don't need to listen out for Nathan he does it he knows well in advance when Nathan's around the corner so yeah enjoy the little bit of footage of him and um I'll talk to him when you've finished looking at him. Can you see Bo? Can you see his ear? What if I do that? Do you see him? <laughs> hey Google, turn on living room light. Now you see him. He hides. He's up in cushions. Hides well on a brown cut. But here we go. I have a cashew. Are you going to be a good boy? Do I get a high five? Other leg? Other leg? Good boy. Gentle, gentle. You haven't got it yet. <laughs> you dropped it. Okay, now we're going to have to find that. Where did it go? <laughs> Hang on, buddy. Here. Up there. Was that good? <laughs> oh, Papa. Hey. No, 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 no. He's got radar ears. You see one ear is actually sticking up. He's, he's listening. So this ear, not this ear, this one on the other side was sticking up. He's listening. See it? <laughs> Okay, buddy. Do you hear anybody? Is there someone coming home? Look at that. That's my Durban custom up there on the wall. <laughs> I'll share that. There we go. Hey, beautiful. Oh, you saw my hand move. There's no food in it. There's no food in it. I'm just trying to hold on and hold on and keep it watching. So you see his reaction when he hears the um, his Nathan come home. Here we go. Oh, did you like his radar ears? <laughs> He's so cute with that. Sits there with one ear. Uh, I actually had to get off the couch. Didn't realise how loud I have that TV. Um, but yeah, I had to get off the couch because uh, I think I was blocking Bo's way or something. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's really funny how he gets there and he'll have one ear's little clamped down and the other one's just sticking right out. And he's, he's barely listening to things. He wants to know what's going on. 
But I like sharing those little bits of bow with you guys. It's pretty cool. He's a good dog. Um, next on the agenda. Well, okay. I'm not sure if I said it last last recording. I I finally caved to Dime Moon Shop and ordered my custom. And I will say the Australian dollar is not that good at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I will say Diamond Shop, the quality is there, it warrants paying the extra. But um you know when you guys see something you know, on on Diamond Shop in America you see you know you see the price, the US price. That's always going to be the price. Uh, whereas the Australian price fluctuates depending on what it's like against the Aussie, the Aussie and the US dollar is. And I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more Diamond Shop products until the Aussie dollar got better. But I couldn't wait any longer. So yeah. So let's see how long that one takes because it's a custom. Uh, it'll take a bit longer. Uh, it's not one of my instant gratification orders of something that they've got in stock. <clears throat> so yeah, just got to wait a little bit longer. Um, I do have, okay, Pretty Neat Creative. I've still got diamond painting waiting for Pretty Neat. And Treasure. Treasure Art Studios, Treasure Studio Arts. Um, I have the trays coming, but I haven't been told about the diamond painting, so still waiting on that. But it'll happen eventually. It'll get here. So, so I'm going to leave you there. That's enough a little whip and chat. I think I've chatted enough and thrown in a little bit of bow for you. I'll, uh, we'll talk to you another time give you an update on what's going on around here i.e. absolutely nothing and i look at also with the coronavirus stats i do have the west australian stats so oh gosh i just saw the worldwide figures um so the west australian stats for the coronavirus are pretty good we have I just saw some R's. Um, so we have had 554 cases of coronavirus in our state. Ready, see. And now we currently have seven active cases, so seven people that have it that are still trying to get over it. And one of those is in... Um, in hospital so we're doing pretty well with our stats so pretty happy with that we went more than a week without recording of a new uh, a new um, case we went for more than a week without a new case so pretty happy the way things are going how's your neck of the woods going let me know. You know, I me, I'm a stats person, so that it's the stats that get me over in anything else. I can ignore what it means, but the stats I do like. Um, so for for Australia itself, so we in WA, there's 554 cases, and overall in Australia, there's only 7,021 cases, and we've only had 98 deaths. 98 deaths in our whole whole of our country, which is bloody brilliant. Um, and then, which one's the other one? Hold on. I'll find the 9815, I think it's the 9. And then for, for us, so yeah, 98 deaths in the country. Um, we've only had nine deaths um, 
in uh, Western Australia, so it's pretty good. We're very lucky. So guys, I will leave it there. I will uh, chat to you later. Uh, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. And of course, um, leave me a comment. Drop your name in the respond to your comments on the, on the um, weekly chats that I do, my daily weekly chats. Which are not quite daily now, but getting there. <laughs> For someone that stopped doing YouTube videos, I kicked off quite well, picked up again. So guys, I will leave you there instead of waffling on any further. And I will say bye for now.